This is Chelsea with Creations by Chelsea Photography and I'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to use Photoshop CS6 to edit or to use actions on videos. Um, so I've got a video here, I'll just drag it into Photoshop. And it takes a little while for it to process it. I'll be using um, a couple Florabella actions and um, some Paint the Moon actions. Um, first off, you hit Command minus, it'll make that a little bit smaller, and you're not going to be so worried about with this because you're going to be using this down here, which is your timeline. Move that up. Alright, so go over to your actions panel. Um, I'll start with my clean base. This is from the Color Play by Florabella. Let's go ahead and play that, and it takes a little while for it to load. And it'll say that there's some things that you can't do, which is okay. Just let it play through. Alright. And right off the bat, it kind of looks like it didn't do anything. So what you need to do is go over here, and you're going to click on this top layer here, and shift all the way down to here, and you're going to drag that above your video group 1 you see down here, all these have been moved to different layers now. So what we're going to do now is just move all these over on top of this. It works the same as layers for photos. Um, oops. So again, one on top of another. But instead of it just being one picture on top of another, it's the video, so everything has to be lined up just right. Alright. Alright. Everything there is all lined up. Now if you see over here, this one here isn't on there, so what you need to do, back over here on video group one as well. You can come back over here. And all of these are highlighted. You can just click and do just one at a time if you want to. It's easier to move them lots together. If you have a um, tablet, like a graphic tablet that you're using, um, it's a little bit harder to move these with. So I would suggest using your mouse if you still have one hooked up. So all I have to do is just drag these back over here, and it kind of seems like a really long process, and some actions it will be a longer process. 
Um, but it's definitely worth it. There we go. Now we can go through and play our video. Right over here you have this little scrubber type thing. Press the space button and it'll go. The first time you go through it, it won't load very quickly. But it will, I mean, anytime you change anything it takes longer for it to load, but it'll work out just fine. Alright, so we got some issues going on here. Um, just gonna adjust some stuff. not available. That's the only one that doesn't work with this one. So it'll play through. And then, you'll see this one here. And you can tell that this action works because when it's in a group, you can adjust the opacity. And up here, it's like a clear one because it's a group, not a um, purple one. gives a nice matte finish to it. No. <laughs> Alright, and I'm gonna adjust a few things. to export the video. So you come over here to file and then to export and render video. And my phone just turned on so I'll ignore that. Ask you where you want to save it. Um, we'll just call this and we'll select folder. We'll just put it in my movies. Um, I've just kind of left all this the way it is. Some people tell you to change it. It works for me. My videos aren't very long. Render take a little while for it to load, uh, or to render, um, I'll come back and show you the before and the after video. 